these are the fabrics we are going to be using this is going to be for the main dress and it's going to be up to the knee it's going to be a slim fitted dress up to the knee and then i'm going to be using this nice lacy material for the paneled fish tail and we're going to be drafting 12 panels uh, with this one for the fish tail and this is what i'm going to be using for to line it uh, i've got about six yards of this and i've got six yards of this as well also i'm going to be using this um, heavy duty or heavy weight interfacing uh, i i couldn't find the one that i really want and i don't want to use buckram because buckram you cannot wash it and you cannot dry clean it so i've gone for this heavy weight uh, interfacing which is not hard enough for me but i uh, it's something i'm going to be managing so let's get started so the first thing we want to do is to make our pattern for the panel for each of the panel and i'm going to be using the lining uh, material the lining fabric that i've got which is the cotton uh, it's just polyester cotton that i'm going to be using to line it so that is what i'm going to be cutting the panel pattern from now the length of the panel fish tail that i'm going to be joining to the dress from the knee to the floor is 28 inches and the circumference of the knee is 36 inches right so and we want 12 panels from this so i'm going to be dividing uh the circumference of the knee by 12 inches so 36 inches divided by 12 will give us three now three inches is what i'm going to be cutting for the top of the panel now how flat it is or how wide it is at the bottom depends on the amount of fabric that you have you can use as much as 12 years to make just that panel so it depends on how wide it is but i don't want it to be too wide i just want each panel to be about 21 inches or 20 inches thereabout and uh, at the bottom so this fabric is really wide it's 60 inches wide so it's something i can actually double because the length of my panel is 28 inches and i've got 29 inches here which is really perfect for for aurora so i can get two panel from this yeah so i'm going to be doubling it just to make um we're going to cut six panel unfold so that to give us 12 panels that we need ideally i should be cutting this on the buyers ideally i should be cutting it on the buyers but if i cut it on the buyers i will not have enough fabric but ideally it should be cut on a buyer so i'm just going to be managing this i'll be cutting it on the straight grain but we we'll still make it work so i'm going to be measuring 21 inches that is the width of the bottom for each panel so i'll measure 21 inches and mark so that's 21 inches remember that i need my seam allowance so a uh, seam allowance that will be half an inch on both sides to join so that's going to be 22 inches so i'll add 22 inches seam allowance and i'll mark the same at the bottom as well that'll be 22 inches and i'll be cutting on the line so so I've got my 22 inches here which is uh, the width of the bottom of the panel and the length is so the length is 28 inches but one inch seam allowance that's half an inch on the top to join into the dress and half an inch to join into the lining so that makes it 21 inches for the length as well so what i'm going to do is to fold this and then start the drafting and because i folded this into two that will be one and a half inches so i'm going to mark one and a half inches on the folded corner one and a half inches and mark it remember i need half an inch to join it so that is two inches all together and then at the bottom because i need 21 inches for 
the width of my panel plus half an inch to join that makes it 22 inches so that will be 11 inches just as, as we have it here i don't need to mark it because that is exactly what i need there so what i'm going to do is to connect this point up to the m of the panel so i'm just going to draw a straight ruler and connect it all the way down all the way down so I'm going to mark four inches all the way and then curve it. And then I'll cut it. We've got our pattern for the panel. So I'm going to give this a good press and then cut 12 pieces of this. Okay, I've cut 12 panels of the main fabric. I also cut 12 panels of the interlining that I'm going to place the main fabric on yeah to give it some more structure so that is the interlining I've cut 12 of those and I also cut 12 lining that I'm going to use to turn the panels inside out so what I'm doing right now is to pin all the three layers together so I'm pinning all the three layers together and then I'll take it to the sewing machine to sew it all up. So that is the main fabric with the interlining treated as one. Now I've got all the 12 panels. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take it to the machine and sew the M round. I'll sew the M round and turn it over. I've done all the 12 panels, I have sewn the lining together with it and uh, interfaced it so it's quite, it's not as strong as I would really like it to be but it's something that can manage. Uh, I'm just going to put some more structure underneath the 
um, fish tail so now this is what I've done for all the 12 panels so the next thing we're going to do is then to join all the panels together so right side facing right side we're going to join it on the side with uh, half an inch seam allowance so we do that I'm just gonna pin it for you to see and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it all up <laughs> 